all right guys just want to update you guys that uh, my build has already done I've just done my dyno but uh, I'm going to give you a summary of uh, what I have done and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, learn something and enjoy together with me because I'm very very excited of driving this to the drift track soon right uh, if you guys uh, want to know the details of each component that I'm going to mention later you can go and watch my other videos that uh, I've already posted uh, previously JZ GTE cylinder head right but I'm uh, using the 2JZ GE block all right all are roughly the same just that they don't have uh, G GE block doesn't have the oil feed from the turbo return all right and then the oil feed also don't have so I reuse the VVTi I, the VVTi I'm not using so I reuse the VVTi oil feed goes to the turbo all right okay one by one the camshaft, I'm using the 2JZ264 uh, non-VVTi cams. So I use the normal adjustable cams uh, and I'm not using the VVTi cam. This is for my first build, alright? Uh, my second build, there will be... Uh, I think I'm going for 272 or 280 VVTi camshaft because uh, VVTi is uh, such a good uh, such such a good option that you wouldn't want to miss because that one you just maintain the high rpm your power at high rpm but you still have the front top and the front uh, horsepower too so VVTI is something that you don't want to delete it all right this is something I quite regret but it is something for me to learn this is my first platform so I don't want to spend too much okay and then uh, I'm using the GE coils. This one GE coils is a uh, wasted spark configuration. That means it is uh, sparking the first one and the sixth one together, the second one and the fifth one together, and then the third and the fourth together. All right. Okay. So I'm using a uh, aftermarket fuel rail and a Bosch 850cc injectors. And then the cylinder heads. I'm using the GTE cylinder head. But the throttle body, I'm using just a Nissan throttle body. Right, this one it should be Nissan Serena. Uh, but the, but this one is a drive by wire, so I'm not using any cable of uh, uh, operating this uh, throttle body. All right, uh, and I use a super big boost uh, blow off valve. This one I think I still haven't uh, set up it yet uh, because the the spring I'm going to change it. And then I'm going to make a video, so stay tuned about it. Alright, so I've uh, changed the original main pulley to ATI main pulley. Alright, so uh, by changing this, the main pulley has new materials so it can absorb the vibrations so that it will not causing cracks in, on the crankshaft or the bearings. Alright, so this is very important, especially when we want to go for high RPM. So the aircon, I'm still using it. The water pump, I'm still using the original one. Alternator, I'm still using the 2JZ Aristore original one. All right, so uh, that's about it in the front. And then the water, I've changed to going to the rear. All right, so with a bigger capacity of, uh, of coolant, it can soak more heat out but it will still maintain in the coolant but uh, for us uh, in the drift we drift for like 1-2 minutes and then we are going to rest the car and then we will go and one, for 1-2 one, minutes and then we, we are going to rest so the high rev is uh, very very straining but it is very short so we try to put all the heat into the water first and then we will cool it down because since we are going sideways we are not going front there, is, uh, there isn't much water uh, blowing through the radiator so the radiator will push to the back and then the second advantage of pushing at the back is the weight distribution small weight will be at the back right so don't want the weight in the front make the car uh, 
uh, slightly a bit more oversteer right so and then the turbo I'm using just a normal turbo right this one is a TO4 turbo but the rear housing I've changed from uh, 0 0.96 to 0 0.81 rear housing because uh, we drift we need very very fast response that means at low rpm we, we need the horsepower and we need to talk immediately and we don't we don't full throttle like drag okay we off throttle we pump it again so we need a very responsive turbo all right okay so i'm going to explain to you guys uh, what are the things that i i did for the electronic side all right i'm using the ecu masters emu black as my main ecu so this one will uh, control everything and then it can do a uh, sequential injector and sequential ignition but this one for now i'm using waste spark right and then uh, uh i got a lot of uh i got a lot of sensors okay i got a lot of gauges uh, to monitor my exhaust gas temperature my uh, oil pressure oil temp water temp and uh, fuel pressure exhaust gas temperature all right so I'm very happy of uh, doing this build. Uh, I hope I can do more stuff, more videos for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and please uh, give some of your support if you guys uh, want to have want to see the next build because uh, I'm planning for the next build around 2019 or 2020. Uh, my next build will be entirely 2JZ NA. But I, I'm using the 2JZ GTE head gasket and maybe after market piston and corn rod but the cylinder head, exhaust manifold, intake manifold are still the GE alright so in this way I can save a bit of money and hopefully I can uh, invest more into a better turbo a, high, a more responsive turbo alright so comment below what kind of uh, things that you want to ask me and hopefully I can help you as much as I can.